All right, all right, all right, Aquarius. Why are you so mysterious, baby? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energy is surrounding you for the month of March 2021, baby. We're here to have some fun. I hope all of you guys are feeling fine, rested, and free. Thank you for clicking this video and coming chilling with me. Shout out to all my OG, shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of my babies who have liked share subscribed and click this video thank you so much for coming through if there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading if these videos resonate with you and you want to send some love over to the page and any type of form of support is welcome and i am thankful for it so thank you in advance y'all go ahead and check the description box of this video or y'all click the about tab on my youtube page it gives you the pricing list for booking um the various ways to communicate with me the best way to communicate with me is instagram messenger if you do not have instagram to send me a private message just go ahead and shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com all right so um you know how we always do aquarius we're going to give you know father god praise thanks and acknowledgement before we get into any energy and we ask him for any type of advice surrounding our life in the month of march 2021 so if you wouldn't mind uh bow your head with me and uh let's give you know father god our attention so father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of the lovely lovely aquarius is father god we thank you for the strength and the stability that surrounds us father god we just thank you so much for the growth and happiness you know and just able and the ability to just reach and touch our dreams and just do everything that we really seen ourselves doing because you know father god just things have just been coming together in such a way father god that we know only you could have put your hands on it and created it so like father god we just thank you so much for all of the greatness that's been surrounding our life and we just thank you so much for your presence on a day-to-day -day basis because you know you are more than a friend you know you are more than a friend. So I thank you so much, Father God, for just being that, you know, that rock, that stability, and that, you know, that just pillar, just keep us having that hope and that faith within ourselves, not only within ourselves, but within you and your control over the universe, because everything is within divine time and it's in your control. So we just thank you so much for every single thing. Every, every up and down is a gift. So we thank you so much for all the lessons and the blessings. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Please give us the guidance that we need to receive for Aquarius for March 2021. All right, so you guys, this is the tea leaf cards. All right, so we're going to get into this. We're going to do about three over on this side and about three over on this side. So let's, oh, okay. So you got the torch right out the back. You got spiritual development and enlightenment, awareness and understanding. All right. All right. Then you have the angel. It's a spiritual guidance and protection from harm. Hmm. That's deep. That's deep. That's very, very deep. Give me one more. Okay, well, there we go. So what is this saying? This is saying the mouse discord amongst family and friends. Hmm. So this is basically telling me it's like you're carrying the torch for your family. I feel like you're the one in your family that is like the true leader, the one that really goes out and get things done. Like you don't just talk about certain things like you truly uh, make things happen by your presence and by a tangible source you know what I'm saying of whatever it is that you said you was going to do I don't even give you I, I wouldn't even say that you're too much of a talker like you're a doer you know and for some reason there's something going on here and it's like you're being protected from it I feel like you're a little bit away from it but I want to say people are trying to pull you into whatever the drama is uh i d yeah i feel like some people are trying to pull you into whatever this discord and this drama is going on amongst family but i feel like you're just being kept away from it spiritual development enlightenment and awareness and understanding again it's like this responsibility of carrying a torch and it's like 
It's like I gotta do better. It's like I can't feed into that. Like I can't I can't evolve myself in that stuff. It's like y'all gotta figure some stuff out on y'all own. And that's really spiritual guidance, protection from harm. I don't even feel like it's, it's not that they're trying to harm you or nothing. It's just I don't have I just don't have the energy <laughs> to be keep going through this foolishness with y'all. Y'all gotta deal with y'all own bullshit by yourself. What else we got for Aquarius? All right, we got the teapot. Oh, says deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Oh, boom. Okay, you got the fire, strong emotion, passion, or hate. Wow. And then what is this? The box. You will receive a gift. Oh, what's up in this Pandora's box? Ooh. Look, Aquarius, I ain't trying to be all up in your tea, honey, but um, I definitely feel that you might have a deep, close, in sex shit. Okay, some little sex shit chocolate. You got your little sex shit chocolate, okay? <laughs> I ain't trying to tell your business, but somebody definitely done been up in that Pandora's box, okay? It looked like it was some Godiva's chocolates up in there, girl. Somebody had a little, a little taste. Someone had them a little taster's choice. Okay, okay. Someone like a little coffee. Someone like a some little strong. Okay, a little taster's choice. Come on <laughs> with the tea. Come on. Come on. Oh. Mm -mm. Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be on go. Let me shut up. <laughs> shut up. Y'all up in y'all business. All up in y'all business. Ooh. Somebody definitely opened up Pandora's box, honey. It's some spicy shit going on over there. Okay, over here. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Give me this. What is going on? Aquarius. <laughs> Why are you leaving them hilarious, Aquarius? Why are you leaving them hilarious? <laughs> okay. Aquarius said, I'll give, I'll be giving them that taste this choice, honey. This <laughs> it was their choice to come over here, girl. <laughs> oh. What is this saying? Financial discipline. Mm -mm -mm. Looks like we need to restrict them risk expenses a little bit. Uh uh, but you know what? I want to say, like, y'all are typically a frugal individual. Y'all are typically a, a frugal individual, but I feel like right now, like, there's something going on where it's like your heart is like really beating very strongly about something. You could be like thoroughly enjoying something in your life right now where it's like you want to look your best you want to invest you just want to have a certain stage presence and just have you know your life in a certain arranged way that you may have to spend some little money you might have to go into your savings and stuff so and i feel like whenever you spend a little coin on whatever this is you feel really good <laughs> so it's like you've been feeling very good y'all watch out for that credit card please don't be putting nothing because i just seen credit do not put nothing on your goddamn credit card do not do that Ooh, oh i feel like someone is pushing the limit honey Ooh, mm -mm. rebirth okay now so what this is telling me here do not push the limit. I feel like right now certain monies is coming in where people can like pay certain debts off and like clear up their financial debt. So, you know, things can look a little bit better. Like try to like curb your spending and restrict yourself from like overspending and splurging too much on shit that you really don't need. Because I feel like right now you've kind of like fulfilled yourself in such a way with whatever this investment or this desire is, whatever this look is that you're trying to obtain. I feel like you have enough right now. You don't need to keep indulging. You know what I'm saying? Like watch your spending and this rebirth i don't know if you guys have just recently like tried to fix your credit and you're like trying to fix your financial makeup if that makes any sense you know but it's something that you are very passionate about like i don't know go to school go like if you want to do invest it in that way go get your certifications and things like that and make sure that you have enough open credit you know what I'm saying? So if you wanted to invest like that and go to school and get, you know, have some student loans and shit sometime later on that you don't have all of this other stuff mucking around 
and you know just making your financial makeup and your profile looking worse I saw like ah I, I don't know I definitely feel like it's time to change um it's like your reputation on a financial standpoint it's like we want to be to a point where it's no struggle to pay no bills and there's no debts it's like complete financial freedom like that is the rebirth that I'm feeling that you are trying to create for yourself not only for yourself but it's like you're trying to have a show your family a different way I don't know if your family um always accumulated a lot of debt or just you know struggled financially and stuff it's like you're trying to show something different especially to your kids and things like that so it's like watch the spending watch the credit cards if you don't have no cash to buy it don't do it you know what i'm saying so give me guidance over here with the angel the torch and the mouse What's going on over here with the family and friends? Mm, you got the five of swords. Oh, my goodness. And into a dis. Okay, so it's like you guys are having some. It's some arguments and it's some disagreements amongst family members because people can't agree on like each other's lifestyles or how people should be doing things it's just things are just like really off balance i feel like there's certain people in your family that really don't want to take responsibility for their own life you know and i feel like there's a lot of verbal abuse it i, I feel like there's someone that they're accusing of somebody of not raising their kid or something like that it's like somebody's been too busy running around, like kind of living their own life, doing what they want to do. It's like they didn't, it's like you, you, you didn't, you didn't put more focus on raising your child. And I feel like there's some arguments, there's some accusations, there's a whole bunch of, it's like, they're saying punishment. It's like, you feel like you're always being, I don't know if it's you or somebody, I don't know who the fuck this is. It's like punishment like someone is like constantly getting a punishment for something as either a mistake you may have made as a child or that they made with you as a child or something like that something like that it's like well you you never raised me you know what i'm saying you never did this and you made that same mistake with me. So how the fuck you going to tell me what to do? You know what I'm saying? It's just like a lot of, you know, and I feel like you're tired of just kind of witnessing that. And with this two of this, I feel like to give your child a safe haven, you might have like removed your child from the situation because it's like you really need true family love, you know? You need that true warmth, that family love. Like this type of shit, this, this, this here. Lying, always like feeding into drama and trying to keep some shit going on. Like, I want to even say like fighting, like there's like physical fighting and like, I, I don't know. I don't know if they're like drunks or something, even though I, I feel like that. It's, I feel like it's just people like drunk arguments or something. And it's like, I'm not going to continue to feed this situation because it like, it's like lowering my value, my self-esteem, like in everything. And it fucks with me in a way that it's not conducive to me being a good example for my child. So I'm just I'm just not I'm just not doing that. Let's see what we got going on over here. I definitely feel like someone oh and I didn't even see the as above so below thing right here. So it's like I know what this type of lifestyle and growing up in a being around a family and dealing with this type of suffering did to me. I'm not going to, like, feed that to my children or something like that. So, it's like, no, nah, I'm not coming back to 
help you guys with y'all's bullshit or whatever fucking argument or whatever because only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and y'all going to start the same old bullshit and that was the reason why I left and I stopped fucking with y'all you know what I'm saying no and y'all are saying something about getting somebody's child on the weekends no <laughs> the fuck no you can't get my fucking kids on the goddamn weekend you fucking crazy okay what is this you got the queen of swords you got the tower. I seen the tower. And then you got the ten of discs. Wow. Wow. So I just feel like suddenly just out of nowhere, you just kind of been like this loner. Um, like you've just been dedicated with you've just been dedicated to doing shit on your own. Living your life on your own accord. Like, living your own individual truth. Like, you are, like, a very... Like, you bad to the bone, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Very smart. <laughs> very quick with it. I feel like, I don't know, like, Jonan and shit like that. I feel like you very funny. And, um, like, you can have, like, a very dry... It's, like, a dry humor. But it's still, like, a funny-ass, like, dry humor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, very... Smart, like if it if it comes to like a war of words intellectually, like you're very quick, you know. I feel like just suddenly you've been um kicking it, just just doing shit on your own for such a long time, um, living your life your own way, and just suddenly that shit just gets broken down and destroyed. Like that single life is done, and now all of a sudden you got this like family responsibility, this whole unit things that is just like prospering and it's doing good and it's like it's flourishing I don't know if it's like I don't know if you never really pitched yourself in like a true relationship where it was like mutually beneficial and like I don't know it's just like I have this energy here of someone that has just truly been okay with like being single and you know like those type of people that don't want to get married that don't really want to have a whole bunch of kids and shit or you know like you might just have that one child and you're good with that and you just you know I feel like someone opened Pandora's box over here and it possibly could be a same-sex situation who knows? Because this is a deep friendship with someone of the same sex. There's some strong emotion. I have a passionate love or hate. I do not feel like this is hate. And it says the box. Tandor's box. You will receive the gift. It's just like you just open up this fucking box. And then just it just like explodes open. And it's just all of this. Like everything that you've done. This life of you just being by yourself. That shit has just been fucking destroyed. Now you got you got this. It's like this richness. Like this affluent energy just surrounding you. You know, it's just like a finan financial discipline rebirth. So again, it's like, it's not just you to focus or worry about. You got a whole family now because it's like whoever you are marrying, it's like, you, your kid, and them, or just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a family thing, so it's like you can't just do things and just think, oh, it's just, you know what I'm saying? No, because it's, it's, it's a family now. So, I feel like <laughs> what you thought knew, what you thought you knew has just suddenly fucking changed, like, out of nowhere, and you just like, okay, but it's successful, it's good. It's beautiful. That's a trip. I like that. And it's like you're keeping your, your kid and your lifestyle and your happiness away from this family. Then you got the sun. So again, especially because the season's about to change. If y'all on the East Coast and stuff like that, baby, shit's about to warm up. You're about to see things about to be revealed to you, especially when that warm sun start kissing your skin during the daytime, honey, and it ain't all. Listen, 
the winter time is about hibernation and things right now the earth is starting to wake up the birds are coming out the butterflies the trees about to start waking up honey that sun is about to come out here and kiss this goddamn universe and honey your universe is about to goddamn change and everything that you've ever asked for I really truly feel like this this sun represents happiness and it represents joy it represents like fun fruit you know like fertility do you understand it represents the masculine energy so if you definitely uh if you definitely and it could be if this is like a same-sex relationship it could be the masculine energy you know that you've you know i guess never thought to try to mm, the ace of diamonds represents like security like something you could you could look at that like as a, a ring you know what i'm saying like <laughs> that's something like where it brings you some type of tangible it's like a as a, a reward it's recognition it's like a it's a yes you know what i'm saying it's a yes let me look it up just to kind of give you the exact wording for what the hell the ace of um diamonds means the ace of diamonds written news a letter a message an invitation important documents new beginnings a fresh start a new phase of life something brand new a ring an engagement life force fire i told you and listen it says fire strong emotion passionate love or hate this not no goddamn hate baby Trust me. <laughs> Whatever you hate to being single and that shit got goddamn shut down in the name of Jesus. Hello. Come on. I'm getting a lot of. I like that. Give me that passion and all. I like this Aquarius. Ooh. So what is this? Oh, and then you got the lilies. So the lilies represents like maturity. Like this is something that is very regal and like no, this is this this not the lilies. This is like the bouquet. So like the bouquet of flowers, that's again, that's just like a gift, like an offering, like someone like doting on you, you know? Like um I want I, I want to say it's like a surprise arrangement like that. I don't know like you could be sent flowers or like a surprise gift or something like that it could be being sent with a letter and then the queen of space <laughs> the queen of space that is so aquarius because the queen of space is someone that that i don't feel like you guys are as emotional creatures as you are a uh, literal thinkers you know what i'm saying you guys are more thinkers you would have to hit you mentally before you would just jump out there emotionally. You know what I'm saying? So, like the queen of space could come off a little cold and emotionless and stuff like that. She does have emotions, but it just takes a certain person to get her. And one way that you can definitely get her is through fucking gifts. <laughs> Most definitely. Gifts and like some written shit that actually means something. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, real quick, I just want to tell you what the flowers mean because i just want to make sure the flowers or the bouquet it says a gift of love a token of affection the bouquet is all about happiness and feelings appreciated this card indicates romantic gestures invitations pleasant surprise thoughtful gestures oh i told you and ooh, ooh, ooh. Remember I told you the fucking tower, like, this shit is just, like, supp- Yo, ooh, I gotta go right here. I got to, I got to, y'all. I'm sorry. Give me some, give me some gifts. What's- Just give me anything. Tell me what we need to know. What's up in this box here? Ooh! Oh, you got the three of spades over here with the goddamn uh, with this family situation. So with this grand, with this family situation, I was about to say grandma. With this family situation, I feel like your family members could be very greedy and narcissistic. They're very meddling, and I don't. I for some reason I feel like they may be 
whatever type of success it is that you're creating around yourself, I just feel like people around you just want to create havoc and malice. And they're just negative fucking energies with this three of spades. Um, this type of shit, I, I, I feel like it's either some type of depression or sickness or something like that. That I don't know if there's like a family history of like depression or something like that. And I feel like it could be easily triggered because it's like these motherfuckers don't know when to stop. Like the pig is just like, they eat slop. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're just like be saying anything, be doing anything. It's just like any type of shit could just fly out these motherfuckers mouth and it's just greedy. You know what I'm saying? It's like anything that you give is never good enough. And it's like, if I, if I allow my, you know, cause like pigs eat their own newborn sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like there's, um, yeah, you know, so, um, but I love bacon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, God gonna work with me on that. But I'm just saying, it's something about, and this flew right on over here with this pile right here. With this discord amongst family and friends. Ooh! Now I'm getting this shit over here. Because it says a deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So the T could be, ooh. Mm -hmm. Aquarius, why you be leaving them delirious, girl? So listen, I don't know, Aquarius, especially for the females. I don't know if you, if there was some type of same-sex relationship that you had on the low with like a family friend or something like that, and but you've always been like the single person, like you've always held your sword up, like you never really let nobody in, 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 in like that, Aquarius, like you always got your sword up, nah, I'm good, like it's like you have a very dominant personality, do you feel what I'm saying, especially for my Aquarius, um, females, but I feel like you might have had this little soiree, this little, you know, little, mm -mm -mm, going on with this little female friend of yours that all of a sudden boom shakalaka here come big daddy with the caddy coming through you know mm, 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 slanging and dangling and just you know do your ears hang low do they wobbles with the flow can you tie da 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 can you tie bitch I got tired of the night and in the bow bitch can you throw it over your shoulder like a console this soldier bitch his ears hang hell of a low so listen all that all that all that and it just hits you by surprise or stuff and then this motherfucker talk about security and this person is like cool with your kids and like you it just like out of nowhere like you just felt powerless like this connection it just like threw you off guard and girl i mean the gifts the happiness the it's like how can you not accept this like how could you not you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm not really trying to, like, I ain't causing no joy. Like, why y'all mad? Because I'm doing, like, bitch, I, I don't know. It's like, I can't be, I can't be doing all this shit with you and shit like that. Like, you're still my friend. Like, you got to be my friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can't, yeah, yeah I can't, can't be doing all of that. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like there could be, because the situation obviously changed drastically that someone I feel like wasn't prepared for whatever type of arrangement it quickly and I feel like it's like the acknowledgement the whole oh so you in a relationship oh so y'all like that like you ain't never so it's just weird to whoever this is and it's like mm-mm nope because this is good right here. I'm not about to do that. And I'm not about to keep arguing with you and shit like that. I'm definitely not. Because you're throwing me the fuck off balance right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm good over here. So, like, this what we was doing right here. And all of this. Baby. All of this. You giving me a fucking headache. You understand? You're giving me a headache. <laughs> you're stressing me the fuck out. I'm going to need you to stop. I'm going to need you to stop. Like, for real. You need to chill. For real. And for we are reloaded. So let's quickly come on over here. And then we about to wrap this up, Aquarius. Because that shit is <laughs> juicy like Lucy. <laughs> mm. Okay. Ooh. 
girl, you got the seven of spades. But the seven of spades is, ooh. Okay, so the seven of spades is like the tower as well. You know what I'm saying? The seven of spades is like the tower as well. But um, mm, it's like something that you really, gosh, why do I feel like, uh, Something ain't going to be easy over here. Especially if you got some secret in that goddamn box. And there's this energy. There, there's, there's spades, baby. Spades ain't good, babe. Mm -mm. Spades ain't good. It says the pig when near or far is an almond. Of phenomenal luck and great abundance. That's good. High honors and all ambitions attained. That's good. That's good. But the three of spades ain't a good card. It says the clouds. With the dark side towards the person indicates a divorce. The bright sides towards the uh, person indicates happiness. So. I'm not, And again, remember though, it's like. A, remember this is like shocking like happiness and shit like that and again the the space does represent the towers like something that it comes by sh shock and surprise and it, and it may be again because it may literally just be all of a sudden this third party situation where i don't know if there was this like on the low type of secret affair amongst the who, cause like, whoever this person was dealing with, they could have always dealt with people, but always had this little secret, little sexual thing going on with the friend that no one really knew about or no, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, that shit just suddenly is like over. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just got this luck and it's happiness that just came for me from out of nowhere. Like, I really like this person. And I can't do this with you. I'm not going to do that with this one. Like, I really care about this one. Like, this one is equally yoked. Like, we feed into each other. Like, everything is good. I can't do that. Like, you you have to really be my friend on this one. And I don't... And now I'm going into financial discipline. I don't know if you were doing something financially for this person. Like you would help your friend with certain shit. But it's like because you're in love now. And this whole shit is over here. It's like you literally have to use your sword. It's like I can't do that shit. I can't be for you like that in that way no more. It's like you have to take care of yourself. Like you can't keep involving me in whatever the bullshit that you got going on. Like you got to take care of yourself because... I got my own shit that's going on over here and, and like you can't come bring your negative, your dark cloud in that shit over here. You know what I'm saying? You're not about to keep, you're not going to do that. You definitely not. Especially if you just being greedy because you can take care of yourself. You feel what I'm saying? So real quick, I'm about to just break down what these spade cards mean for you. And then we good. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all, I, I definitely feel like y'all get the picture. Y'all feel what I'm saying? Listen, the three of spades is traditionally a card of loss and deception, lies, misunderstanding, confusion, a growing problem, a worsening, a worsening condition, deterioration, disease, infection, Third party interference, a third wheel, meddling, a love triangle, what goes on behind the scenes, trials and tribulation, a test, an exam. Bitch, I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all, I told you I was trouble. <laughs> you know that I'm no good. Okay, girl. <laughs> Listen. Woo! Okay, the seven of spades, traditionally a card of bad luck and loss, unexpected trouble, mishaps, an unexpected an unhappy surprise, a serious setback, a reverse of plans, frustration, a lack of progress, a stalemate, stagnation, addiction, drugs, medications, alcohol, codependent relationship. I told you so. Oh, a cocktail, a nightclub, a bar, a saloon. Y'all, I'm going to leave that right there where it is. Y'all let that marinate. 
<laughs> you know, book of personal property. Y'all call me, but I'm trying to. T I told you I was trouble. You know that I'm no good. This little bitch over here. Mm -mm. Someone, I swear, I just feel like there's some discord with this friend. It's either that or you got some family members and shit that just greedy as a motherfucker. And it don't matter how far you try to get away from them and separate and have some financial discipline with them. Because I can't keep fucking helping y'all with y'all trouble, man. I'm trying to do my life. I actually got a whole fucking family now like i'm like in a re real relationship this time y'all like y'all gotta chill with this shit bruh like stop bringing y'all mishaps and y'all drama over here and like there could most definitely be if you have any shit in this pandora's box oh especially if you really use your sword aquarius with these motherfuckers it's, if these family members and friends that you're trying to like you know distance yourself with so you can have this new Unexpected greatness that just came into your life. Don't think that they won't come over here and tell your motherfucking business. Don't feed pearls to swine. Don't keep giving them shit. Because if you keep giving them shit, you're going to have to keep giving it to them. And you have to feed this beast forever. Learn how to cut the head off of the fucking beast, bitch. Cut the head off the swine and to listen, sell that motherfucker to a goddamn... Listen, you know how much money you can get for a whole pig? Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I gotta go. I love you. Peace.